Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and as always a huge thank you to each and every single one of you that continuously supports my channel, whether new or existing subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. Today's video is going to be on my dining room, but before I show you the tour, I wanted to just give you a quick update in the living room area. I decided to add these two lanterns to the bottom of my tree and I love how it looks. It makes it look completely finished. I had presents there, but I just wasn't feeling it. It just felt like it was too much because the gifts were coming way out under the fireplace. So I'll probably put those gifts out on Christmas Eve. But for now, this is the look that I'm loving. And then the other thing I've decided is, guys, I'm not going to do a topper on any of my trees. This year, I'm leaving my trees with no toppers. I really like it. I think it looks beautiful just the way it is. And so that's just a decision I've decided to make. But enough about the living room because you guys already saw this area. Let's take a look at what this video really is about. My dining room. Welcome to my dining room. Absolutely love this area. We're going to go into everything bit by bit so that I can tell you guys where everything came from. I'm gonna give you the prices. To the best of my recollection, 90% of my items are really and truly from HomeSense. There's no links, I have to apologize. HomeSense is one of those stores, you just kinda of gotta go, and if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Let's take a look at this reef. Love this reef, I used it last year. And I just adore it. It's so beautiful. I love everything about it. The shape. I like the way the neutrals are. It has a perfect amount of glitter and glam. It marries the two styles of minimalist, minimalistic, neutral, and glam together. And it was actually very affordable. When I got this, I paid $34.99. And yes, I know I have the tag on here. Because most people ask me, how much is this? Where'd you get it from? And I'm, I have a lot of pieces and a lot of items and I do a lot of shopping. I don't always remember the exact price. So someone came for me in the comments one time. They were like, take your tags off. If I took my tags off, I wouldn't be able to share the price with everybody. So I do keep some of them on. And that's just that. <laughs> Let's come over here and take a look at the Christmas tree. All of my picks, every single pick on this tree is from Dollarama. Guys, don't sleep on the dollar stores. They have some of the most beautiful picks, but they're kind of hard to find. Like These are a collective assortment of picks over the years. They don't have a lot all the time, so you've got to get there nice and early. This ornament here is one of the newer additions to my ornaments. It is just stunning. I love that it looks like it's frozen. It's just so beautiful. The camera does it no justice. This one is from HomeSense. It came in a pack of four, $14.99. And then these are also a new addition, which I just adore. And they came from HomeSense as well. Pack of four, $14.99. And these ones here also came from HomeSense. Pack of four, $14.99. And then I have the cutest little icicles. These ones, they came from Ikea. And they're actually frosted on the top. And then they go down into just a clear acrylic vibe or glass vibe. I think these are beautiful. And they would be perfect if you had a very small tree and you were trying to keep everything minimal. That is a great, great addition. It doesn't look like it does much for the tree, but honestly, when I take it off, you can see the difference. So it's just perfect in its little spot. These ones also came from HomeSense in a pack of four. Don't remember how much I paid for them. And this was from the Bay. These ones probably look familiar because when I did my living room uh, tree, I spoke about these ones as well. I tried to keep some of the very like some ornaments that are exactly the same or similar, I try to keep so the trees still have some sort of a connection. These are also from HomeSense. They're a little bit on the bigger side, which I really loved. 
And then this one here is an oldie but goodie. Guys, I got this one from the dollar store, from Dollarama a couple years back. I saw some this year, but they're not round ones. They're like the ones that are shaped more so like with a point. And I don't know. I wasn't feeling them. They're beautiful, but it wasn't my thing. And then on the very bottom of the tree, I just put a blanket. And I had my polar bears down here. It didn't make any sense because the polar bears, you couldn't see them and they're so beautiful. So I just removed it from that. My tree itself is from Walmart and I can link the video in the description. All of my trees are from Walmart. This one would be traditionally called a pencil tree or a skinny tree. It's great for small spaces. And again, I'm not going to add any stars or any topper on the tree. I love it just the way that it is. Over here on the bar, this has to be one of my favorite areas. I whipped this together in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I had the lanterns there. I found it just looked really cold and icy and just open. So I'm like, I got to do something else. I found my reef and my garland in the same suitcase. I couldn't find them the beginning of um, November. And then I was giving away the suitcase and then they, they were inside of the suitcase. So thankfully I checked and I didn't have anywhere to put the garland because my fireplace is used differently this year. And I'll show you guys what I did with the winter village in another video. But I decided yesterday actually to just put the garland on top of my bar area. So it's not even really a bar area. It's just the opening from the kitchen to the dining room. So I just twisted it over and it made the shape on its own because this is where the two ends meet. So it's a little bit more of a gathering there. I added my two bears. Those bears I got from Canadian Tire. I paid, I don't remember exactly how much, but it was a couple dollars because I got them towards the end of the season. And I love them so much. They're really beautiful. And then I just went to Dollarama and got the gold balls and these picks. And also just a little bit more of the glam picks or the glitter picks, the longer ones. Let me come closer so you guys can see better. So these ones are the ones I'm talking about. I got this in the gold. And then I also got the silver ones again just to tie everything in and it came with the berries on it already it came with these already and then these but it just was so white because my theme has always been winter wonderland really white decor so i had to warm it up a bit but guys how beautiful are my bears it looks like their fur has snow like this is so beautiful look at this i love it so much <laughs> And again, they were a really good price. And then over here, I made this little bow. And had I have known it would come out so cute, I would have done a video. But, you know, I'm always DIYing and I'm always making things. And sometimes I don't always record them. And I should keep the camera out at all times because that's such a cute bow. And it was really easy. There was some DIYs that I was seeing on how to make bows because I had never done one before. And even though it's simple, it just felt really complicated. So I decided, no, I got to do my own thing. And that's what I did. Let me come so give you guys a better angle over here. Then I just added the lace and the bow. Everything is from Dollarama. Not the bow, the um, ribbon. It's the wired ribbon as well. I really do love this area. It came out exactly the way that I envisioned it. There's no better feeling than that. And then on my chairs, I decided to put my snowflake throw pillows. These were from HomeSense. I don't remember the price, but I know I have a video when I first purchased those where I did discuss the price. I'm going to look to see if I can find it, but let me show you guys the other pillow here. So they're actually different pillows. Let me show you, because they look very similar, but they're different pillows. This one has smaller snowflakes and beadwork. I love a good beadwork. 
And then this one is the largest snowflakes with no beadwork, but they have the faux diamonds. And I got two of each. I was trying to find four, but I couldn't. This one also is a bit bigger. It doesn't have a raw edge. And this one over here does have a bit of a frilled edge. So it's a little different, but they complement each other very, very well. And they look beautiful together. In my previous video where I spoke about my dining room setting and I did the setting, I went into details as to all of my pieces, how much they cost and everything. So feel free to check out that video. What I didn't do was I didn't show the entire finished product of my tablescape, which is what we're doing today. I tried to keep the tablescape on the lighter side and not have too much embellishment in the middle this is why i kept my jars empty because i wanted the bit of glam i wanted that shine and that shimmer but i did not want it to be heavy there's a lot going on in this area here there's a lot going on on the wall the chandelier there's just a lot happening in a small space and if i put too many things on the table i felt like it would be too busy and very distracting when I'm entertaining, however, I may go ahead and decide to put, you know, popcorn, chips, nuts, cookies, something in it where my guests can help themselves while waiting to eat. So it's not that it doesn't have a purpose. It has a purpose. Just right now, I'm keeping it empty. I didn't want to add snowflakes. I didn't want to add beads or anything in it or trees or snow because I want to be able to use them. And I also want all of my hard work in the back here to show and just look really beautiful. So that's why I kept the centerpiece pretty simple. If I decide to change it, because you never know, I might see something that I love, then I will definitely update you guys. But this is what the dining room area is looking like for now. And I love it. Let's take a look over here. If you guys are watching my videos back to back to back, you would have already seen this video. It's my dollar store Christmas stocking DIY, and I reuse the bows that I had for my gift box last year. I did the dollar store gift box um, for under the tree, the decorative one. And so this was the top part of my gift box. Link it in the description, and you can always check it out. Super easy DIY. This is a five minute craft, literally five minute craft. You can do it so many different ways. Check out the video. I gave a lot of a lot of options on how you can create this quickly. I love it so much. I think it adds the perfect amount of warmth and it really does help to marry the spaces. The white stockings on their own, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful, but I think if they were cream or like an uh, off-white, it would have been okay leaving it by itself. Because everything here has a bit of a gold, a bronze undertone, there's some greenery, it looked really naked in this area. So doing this really helped to tie in the entire space. I love it. I think it looks beautiful. I think it makes sense with my space. I might go back and zhuzh it up a little bit more. I feel like I can use some more of the silvers in there and maybe even add a little bit of this color. Guys, I don't know what color this is. I've been trying to figure this out. It's not gold. On camera, it looks gold, but it's not gold. It's not rose gold, but I see it all the time. <laughs> it's not bronze. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can find some little picks or maybe some little ornaments, and I can go ahead and incorporate it into the stocking so it really ties everything together perfect if not i do have some leftover ribbon over here from my diy and uh, i'm going to go ahead and see if i can incorporate that into the stock i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope i was able to inspire you all get you into the holiday mood get your homes decorated have lots of fun while you're doing it and if this is your first time watching my video and you enjoy, please don't forget, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section, and subscribe. I have a lot more content coming for you guys over the holiday. I'm going to attempt to do Vlogmas, no promises, but keep an eye out and don't forget, turn on your notification bells 
so you will all be the first to know when I upload new videos. Until then, I'll see you guys in the very next video.